We do a the stream. We are definitely past this, aren't we? Let's go ahead and not do this one. Hmm. Back from the blue ball. I don't remember where we left off. Damn it. The blue ball, the blue ball, the blue ball. So we're not even in his damn house yet, huh? Okay, well that's a score 187. So we can go off of that. 160, okay. So it might have been that one. Well, you better stop that shit. And we'll try Ima's room. Okay, yep, so back, uh, back from the blue ball, which I don't even remember what the uh, blue ball was. Yeah, well, who knows? I don't know. Something's going on on that screen. All right, so back from the blue ball. Let me... Let me, uh... Let me figure something else out here. Damn. Uh, okay. Ben's childhood. We already did that. Um, had Ben. Oh yeah, the blue ball was up in. The, it was the the shit up in the corner. Okay, so we had just walked out. Now it brought us back. Uh, What the fuck is this person doing on Twitch? I don't know. Anyway, so now it says we need to go back to the, the sentries. We talk to them until they're confused and they leave, and I think, I feel like the game crashed on us at one point. And that's why, I feel like that's why we had that issue before. Uh, I think it crashed. Yeah. Yeah, so now you, t you talk to these guys. And then they just take all the shit and they leave with it. <laughs> Alright. I think now they're on... They're on the right page. Thank you. 
All right, cool. So, a piece of tin. We can get a piece of tin. We can use some tin. Um, we're just going to have to keep fighting this one through the whole game, I think. This memory fragmented every time we switch the screens. Uh, Kiten the key experiment. We see we have a key there. So we're going to go ahead and talk to poor Richard, see what we can get figured out here. Uh, better than last time I saw you. Uh, that's that was sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. few questions. Oh, man. Pugues. <laughs> it's probably because he's not a real person, so it doesn't affect him. Real person. Some proverbs. Uh, is this a proverb right here? Oh, the quarrels. Okay. Eat few suppers and you'll need few medicines. Don't pig out. You'll make yourself sick. Definitely need to go to the post office for that, for the lazy one. And we can knock on this door and give this to General. Is it General Lee? Is that who it was? Or Washington? I don't think. this one yeah so let's take that one and let's give it to him a pastry <laughs> tell me what you ate today
half dozen sausage links, eating some food. Eat a pint of jam. Oh, eating some food. <clears throat> oh, he's still going. I think I saw some brains in there. A squirrel. <sighs> I'll lose weight, that's what. I'll be a twig before you know it. Oh, he wants to know about what to do with those pugs. This proverb and go yoink. My karma has to be totally scummy right now. Yo, they're cranking it out. Hell yeah. We're handing out proverbs and we're getting points. I don't know if that goat was there earlier, was it? What's up, goat? What's up, goat? <laughs> I like it. All right, so now we gotta get we gotta go get the bonbons too. Memory fragmented like usual. Can't I spell screen right now? Jesus, there we go. Back when Sierra would like put people's likenesses in games, I, I don't know who they are. Uh, I don't know who they're supposed to be. Oh, they just made some evil faces though. I don't think they really liked what they ate. Oh shit! What's going on here? Kick him. This dude looks like such a chump. Like, everybody should just kick his ass. I don't, I don't know why. James. James and Nathan. So we could do this. We could say, who are James and Nathan in Pepper's Adventures of Time? Maybe they're like somebody's kids. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. It might be too deep into into the internet for me to find out who these two guys are. But yeah, that's serious to do that kind of stuff. They put people's likenesses in in games. They're kind of starting to do that now with um, a lot of times they'll do it with uh, like Kickstarter Kickstarters, you know. Donate so much, we'll put your likeness. Like, one package is, like, the person that donates the most money is $5,000. You get your face in the game. Nathan Jane. They look like kids. I bet you it's, it's uh, Ken and Roberta Williams' kids or something. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Ha, <laughs> ha, little, uh, oh. Yeah. They told they won a contest in the Final Fantasy era, and that's what I hear. Fucking game. I wonder if all people from Zero look like that. <coughs> oh, crap. So now, this bitch wants bonbons, doesn't she? Isn't there a recipe for bonbons? Like this? There you go. Okay, we'll give her the bonbon recipe. She doesn't look like she needs any more bonbons. Pickled cabbage. Oh man, I just... Now we need to get a fan. Oh yeah, we do end up getting a fan. I remember, it does, it does go on the back of the chair. A weird appliance attached to the back of it. Missing something. Yep. Uh, let's see here. But, uh, yeah, we can go back to the Proverbs now. Now, go to eat anything. So that's what we can do with the, with the jar of cabbage. I keep double clicking. I forget which game it was. It might have been Grim Fandango that I was playing recently where if you did like a double click he would he would move faster across the screen. <laughs> Didn't have to wait as long. Let's go ahead and get up here with our there you go. Now we got a jar. There you go. Because, of course, we couldn't just. <laughs> Subliminal sociological backlash against the residual values of the puritanical system. If these people had some values of their own rather than leaning on the antiquated belief systems of their forefathers, they never would have been susceptible to this kind of adverse outside influence. Or maybe not. <laughs> Fucking love it. That is awesome. All right. So we'll. Uh... Okay, we got this other proverb here. It's been wood chiseled out, Mister Bicker. My aura is stretched pretty thin right now. Quibby. Quibby Quabble. <laughs> Vicar Backer. Oh, they make a kissy face. Sugar toes. Gag me with the time machine. <laughs> 
I love it. The first three. No, I don't want to. Talk. I don't want to say nothing to him. I don't want to ask nobody about no nothing. I don't give a shit. Let's go ahead and get a save in here. Um, let's call it like more proverbs. Games like this that crash, they're like pretty unstable. I like to save pretty often if I can because number one, they're kind of hard to play through. Like something that's this old and I'm old, it's hard to play. So, I mean, I'm enjoying the nostalgia aspect of it. I do like the idea of, like, playing through it, investing a few hours, getting it cataloged. It's, like, in YouTube. Like, I think it'd be sweet. Like, who knows? Like, ten years from now, maybe I'll still have... I mean, I have, like, fucking thousand videos, um, you know, on YouTube about me playing, like, old school games. I can come back, I don't know, maybe show some kids or... I don't know, maybe somebody finds my video for Pepper's Adventures in Time in a few years, and they're like, Ah, oh, man, I'm really happy that that guy recorded it. Even though it was really hard. Uh, excuse me. What is this? All right. Um, so now we can go ahead and take a look at these. We have three more proverbs. Okay, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. In other words, you'll do well if you work hard and don't party too much. So who's partying? It could be these guys right here. Where the gossip who speaks ill of thy neighbors, with thy neighbors she likely speaks ill of thee. So when he tells you gossip about someone else, you can bet they're spreading gossip about you too. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, it's not his who has it, but his who enjoys it. Don't waste your money, but do have fun with it. Don't be cheap. This gossip lady is over here, isn't she? Knock on the damn door, huh? Don't mean to be clicking on the window. Oh, yeah. Gotta throw some more pebbles up there. Be like, bitch, come out your house. <laughs> yeah, I, that person's just mean. Was this the chick that was like spreading gossip? Yep. Yep. This bitch right here. This is the gossipy one. This one? Yeah. So let's take the middle one. Let's give it to this bitch.
So we gave her the proverb. So, I'm gonna Throckmorton guy? This Throckmorton guy might need to get a proverb. Okay, so Throckmorton, shit, I don't remember who that is. Let's go find him. <laughs> They're taking his disc. Hmm. 
This is the guy that's really cheap, isn't it? was the one that wouldn't spend any money. <coughs> That's right. Whoops, rolling over my cord down here. So we handed up that one, so now we're gonna find the Throckmorton. So it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. We already hit those three with Proverbs. The Hardys we're not hitting with the Proverb. That dude we're not hitting with a Proverb. So I think we just need to come back over here where we're not hitting the Hardys with the Proverb. Crazy ass looking game he's playing here. Oh, this is all we know. I know, right? I think Feather requested this at the. Okay. Let's go find us a Throckmorton. Okay. I'm just confused. I can't think of where this guy is. I don't think I understand. Oh, it's, it is this guy. I've been fucking staring at him this whole time. They are partying, I guess, because they're playing. Look at that nose on that dude! Thank you. 
Huh. Well, anyways, yeah, so... Okay, so they're going back to their studies, so that's good. We're gonna beat this fucking game tonight. We're gonna do it. Two more proverbs.
Okay, so we can go ahead and give Now we have one more, and that's the gambler. One in fifteen hundred chance of winning. all sad now. <laughs> oh shit. Definitely take that key. All right, let's uh, let's open up the bag. Women's clothes. All right, big brass key. Deborah's clothes. Got the um Okay, so 
so now we, yeah, we can't get to the Pugh's house. We got too many guards there. Go back to Ben's house now. What's up? Well, I was streaming Pepper's Adventures in Time. Dees, dees. Yeah, probably. Right on, man. We'll catch you soon then. Uh, I don't know. I'll send a message see what he's up to. Yeah, we might get it finished tonight, actually. Well, we had three levels after the last one, so I think we just have three levels. Maybe even two. So. Uh, ugh, yeah, man. So. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good, man. Later, later. Documentation on page 18. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta do the glass jar. Wait, you gotta do a kite. You gotta do a kite on the string. Okay. You gotta do the, the jar. Uh, foil. Okay, jar. Foil, water. Shit. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe we'll put this together. We need water. Where did we get water? That's what I was trying to do. Okay, now we can do the stopper. Okay. Now we can do...
kind of looked at that wrong. I skipped it earlier. here in a little bit. Look, what a fat, f fat, lazy fuck. <laughs> He's like, just, just set all that shit on the ground over there, kid. Symbolism, man. Fatty needs some lunch. <laughs> but Frank is such a lazy ass.
Ah, you can see his underwear. Messed up the damn hot tub. Okay, which statement is not true? Uh, he invented swimming paddles? He's a strong swimmer. Went to sea with his brother. Fine sailor. Which statement is not true? So the other one would be, all three would be true. Okay. What did the sign of the blue ball mean? Son of Josiah Franklin's candle and soap making shop. Yep. Right. Which of these professions did Ben Franklin learn early in life? Printing. Aw, oh, damn it! Fucked that up. What do you think? Should we go back and... Fucking re... Oh, yeah, now I, I have to go back. Now I double fucked myself. Ah. Well, we'll pick up at Act Four next time because I'm gonna re I'm gonna replay that last little bit right there. Uh, I'm gonna replay that last little part right there because I totally screwed up. But we'll do that on another stream. I'm gonna head out for a minute because I'm gonna switch over and I think play some other games with some buddies of mine. I think. So, hang around. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.